Hey there, Irish fans. Holden Pirelli here with Fighting Irish Media, here to bring you up to date on everything Notre Dame athletics in this week's Irish School Board. Head coach Mike Bray also has some coaching ties to the Howard Bison. For more on that, we bring in our sideline reporter, Holden Pirelli. Thank you so much, David. Howard University head coach Kenny Blakeney has known Notre Dame head coach Mike Bray since Blakeney was a 14-year-old high school student at DeMatha High in Maryland. When Bray was an assistant at Duke, he recruited Blakeney to the program, and Blakeney returned the favor to coach under Bray at Delaware. Blakeney told me he considers Bray to be family and would not be where he is in life without him, David. John, first of all, what was it like to see Eric Atkins tonight, who's known you since you were a freshman here? Yeah, you know, Eric was... He's one of my one of my good friends. He's awesome, man, and he's he's got a bright future ahead of him in the coaching in the coaching ranks. Uh, it was awesome to see him and wish him the best of luck. A double double for you tonight. What was working for you? Uh, you know, I think my teammates just really really got me involved. Uh, coaching staff came up with a good game plan. We executed it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I got some easy points inside. So you got to shout out my teammates for that. John, congrats on the win. Thanks for your time. Thank you, man. Thank you, David. Notre Dame off to a fast start against Howard University in almost five minutes of action. And tonight's matchup is a return to Notre Dame for former Irish player Eric Atkins. Atkins graduated from Notre Dame in 2014 as a three-time captain and joined Mike Bray's coaching staff for three seasons as a video coordinator, now an assistant on Coach Blakeney's staff. Blakeney told me he's admired Atkins from afar without ever meeting him and always kept him on a short list of people he wanted to work with. Bray vouched for Atkins, encouraged Blakeney to hire him and Atkins guys knows this Notre Dame roster inside and out there are only two new players on this Notre Dame team from a year ago coach Milanos first of all how does it feel to see Kenny Blakeney who you played with in high school at DeMatha yeah it's really surreal to be honest for me I mean he's like a brother to me I'm actually wearing one of his ties right here you know and he actually recognized that before the game but yeah I mean we're really really close played in high school together I was kind of a mentor him when I was young so proud to see what he's doing he's done a good job of junking it up in the first half to make it difficult at times on us well it was a fast start for your offense in the first half what did you see and how would you assess that performance yeah you know it's, it's an interesting test you know they played a lot of junk defense in the first half have a lot of triangle and two, which is interesting. I, I can't remember in my 20 years the last time a team played as triangle and two. So it's good for our guys. They're, they're, make, they're mixing defenses on us. So we had to react. You know, sometimes when you're playing junk defense, you get some easy shots early. Maybe that's not the best shot. But we, you know, we, we uh, manufactured 41 points, which was good. Our own Mike Lightfoot's noticing that you guys are experimenting a little bit on defense with different zones. And man, what have you seen so far and what have you liked? Yeah, our man has been really good this year. But you know, the zone, sometimes some of these teams that we play, like Robert Morris, even Bellarmine, they play the shot clock all the way down to the end. So you got to have some def defensive patience, which sometimes hurts you offensively a little bit. So um, I thought the zone helped us catch our breath a little bit and helped us on the offensive end. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. All right, David. Can you name the starting tight end? Can you name the starting running back? Who are the second and third wide receivers? So I think in spite of all that, for Deshaun to play as well as he did, to put up the kind of numbers he did, mind you, the Texans won the division over the Colts. I think that's why Deshaun Watson's in my top five. Really excited to see him next season. I was by the Notre Dame huddle during that last break, and Mike Bray likes what his guys are doing. He told them to keep doing what we're doing. He's liked the fight he's seen from his players. They need to be strong and rebound. David. And for more information on Robert Morris and what they're looking to do in the second half, let's send it down to Holden Pirelli. Thanks so much, Austin. I had a chance to speak with Robert Morris head coach Andrew Toole before the start of the second half. I asked him about the challenge of Notre Dame's defense and why his team played so poorly on offense in the first half. He said, frankly, we were awful. We couldn't even pass the ball. So he was busy, frustrated, and he wants to see his team be able to execute on the road, guys. Notre Dame senior forward John Mooney told me that he's been impressed all offseason and for the start of the regular season with the development of sophomore guard Prentice Hub. Mooney likes his leadership, his playmaking ability, which we saw with eight assists against North Carolina, and he's the second leading scorer here today. Mooney thinks having Hub engaged will be key for the Irish to have success down the road, guys. Dane, John Mooney said you guys have been working on moving without the ball and cutting through the basket. Did you see that pay off today? Yeah, it did. Uh, we'd worked on it all week in practice, you know, five out kind of motion, and, uh, you know, we came into the game today, you know, wanted to really emphasize that and I think we did and we got a little got a lot of open shots today so it worked out you yourself had 18 points
points today leading the team in scoring. What was working for you? Well, it felt good to see a couple go down. Um, got to line a little bit, got in the post. Um, you know, around the bucket gets me going a little bit. And, uh, you know, just, have, just having guys find me and everything, it uh, worked out today. Congrats on the win. We'll see you on Tuesday. Appreciate it. Austin. He's a playmaker in a run-heavy offense. Look, Pete Carroll, defensive coach, wants to play good defense, right? Legion of boom and wants to run the, the heck out of the football. And Chris Sims has said it before, that's just tough for a quarterback to get into a rhythm, to get into a flow when you're just handing the ball off and then come fourth quarter, they're down 10 points, and they go up to Russell and say, hey, we need a play. Or it's third and 11. Hey, you need to convert here. And Russell Wilson has done that. 